Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, make it make sense. Welcome back to the YouTube channel of mine and thank you for subscribing. If you have not subscribed, please go on and do so. I don't know what you're waiting on. I'm giving you good commentary. I'm giving you little creakies and ha-ha moments here and there. So go on and do that for me. Subscribe. Uh, definitely over here, we have to put the disclaimer out. Uh, under section 107, we are just critiquing and commenting and having a nice conversation about subject topic. Everything that we speak on over here at this channel is alleged, allegedly, alleged, and that's all I got to pretty much say about this situation. Now we're on the uh, YouTube channel and the Make It Make Sense. Make sure you subscribe. We're having another channel. Oh, I have another channel out there called Deb Chanel's 40s where go over there and get your kiki ha ha's and your big laughs on. All right. And sometimes it's very informative. So I don't think you just get laughter uh, above and beyond everything. No, you get a little informative information as well. And you can use it and do whatever you choose to do with it. But we need to talk about Carly Russell and her hoax of a kidnapping slash trying to rescue a baby walking around uh, the interstate and nobody else is pulling over to help her and to try to figure out where that baby came from. Okay, but as you can tell, there was no baby involved. There was no kidnapping involved. And Miss Lady is sitting at the police station giving us a... a a picture that she probably would take for, you know how you get those yearly pictures taken at school or something like that. Because I'm like, where is the real booking? She's not a celebrity. Where is the real booking? Where is the uh, suit that she's supposed to be staying the night in? Where is the uh, letters, I mean the numbers behind her so we can tell how tall she is and all that kind of stuff. I mean, they really like they're treating her like a celebrity and they really should not do so. Personally, I don't think they should have given her uh, the sentence that she got. She should have been uh, sentenced to seek um, psychiatric treatment and well-being for at least a year. Then she should have uh, served some type of community service for a year um, since they want to charge her for a two-year uh, misdemeanor crime. But, and, you know, that should be added as well because... She don't need to be in the field of caring for others and doing no harm for others, which is the human service field. She should not be trying to be a nurse or a doctor or any of that situation because I don't feel she's stable enough. Because I don't care what anybody said. You can plan something, but you can still not be in your right mind while you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know, look it up. But anyway, we go to Fox 5 News here in Atlanta. They put up a brief yet poignant video or audio for us uh, to say or them, what they're reporting on is to be a true story. Okay, but we got uh, Carla Russell of Alabama charged with two misdemeanors for kidnapping hoax. Public frustrated. Okay. Um... Uh, Hoover, Alabama Police Department held a news conference Friday afternoon to announce charges against Carly uh, Russell, the nursing student who was reported missing after calling 911, claiming she saw a toddler walking along the interstate. During the process, or during, during the press conference, the Hoover Police Department announced that Russell has been charged with filing a false report and filing a false statement, both of which are misdemeanors. Russell reportedly turned herself in before the press conference and was released on a $2,000 bond, $1,000 for each charge. The announcement comes a day after Jefferson County Chief Assistant District Attorney Tulane Tolbert told Fox News Digital that authorities are expected to charge Russell with false reporting to the law enforcement authorities and falsely reporting an incident. The maximum punishment of the charge is one year in jail. For each. Okay. I don't think no jail time is necessary. We just need to let her do community service for a year. And she needs to be evaluated mentally for a year. Okay. 
uh, police admitted during the press conference that they know people all over the country are shocked and appalled that Russell is only being charged with two misdemeanors. We'll continue to let them people stay appalled, let them stay shocked. It's just one of those things. Okay, but anyway, um, police chief Nick Desiree said that he shares the same frustration, but existing laws only allow the charges that were filed to be filed. Okay. Um, Derzis Dirz also revealed that the police department has not uncovered anything about Russell's whereabouts during the 49 hours she was missing, and they have not seen able, they have not been able to confirm that she acted alone. The police chief pointed out that the story about Russell opened wounds for family whose loved ones really were victims of kidnapping, some of which even helped organize uh, searches for Russell. Carly Russell's disappearance. The search for Russell began the night of July 13th. That night she called 911 and then spoke to a family member saying that she saw a young a uh, child walking on the side of Interstate 459 South near Miles Market 11 in Hoover. Okay, Carly, mother said her daughter was on the phone with a family member when she pulled over to check on the child. While the family lost contact with Carly Russell, the line remained open. Here, Carly Russell called 911. When officers arrived at the location, they found Russell's red Mercedes still running by the interstate but they weren't able to find her or a child in the area. Now, why would you leave your car running if you are like, seemingly pulling over trying to assess a situation with the baby? Why would you leave your car running? Mm-hmm. Just waiting for another incident to happen. Uh, it could have warped her plans totally out the uh, a ball field part. But anyway... It says, um, uh, but they were unable to find her or a child in the area. Investigators said no children had been reported missing in the area. After news of her disappearance spread, a private donor came forward to offer a $25 reward. In addition to 5000 men offered by Crime Stoppers Metro Alabama, that award eventually increased to 5000 then took over to 63 with the support of around 60 other donors, the New York Post replied. Okay, when Carly Russell was found on July 5th, 49 hours after her disappearance on Interstate 459, Russell showed up at the front door of the home in Hoover uh, she shared with her parents. Now, I'm just going to go back for a second or two. What is all this money? Okay, if it wasn't used and spent on the search for Carly, why the family ain't giving back that money? That's what I want to know. They should give back that money. I don't know why the mom and the dad want to hold on to it. They want to hold it more closer than they want to do with their daughter being home again with them again. Okay? But anyway, that's just my talk. That's just my banter. As you can tell, I'm not too fond of the parents. Because they could have stopped everything in one motion. But, hey, it is what it is. Uh, going back to the article, they said she walked up, banged on the door, and that was her, who were police chief Nicholas Durez told WBRC. The station reports that surveillance video from the neighborhood shows her walking by herself down a sidewalk before arriving at her home. Speaking to today, Carla's mother, Talitha Russell, described the moment that got to see her daughter for the first time since she disappeared. We tried to hug at her as best we could, but I had to stand back because she was not in good in a good state. We had to stand back and let medical professionals help her, uh, Robinson Russell said before becoming too emotional to speak. When first responders arrived at the scene, the missing woman was reportedly conscious and spoke with them. Russell was taken to a local hospital for evaluation and has since been released back to her family. Okay, last Wednesday, 
the Hoover Police Department held a news conference to address questions about the case and give an update on their findings. Authorities said that Russell had told them she was taken by a red-haired man who came out of the trees when she stopped to check on the child but put her in a car and an 18-wheeler truck blindfolded her and held at a home where a woman fed her cheese crackers. Okay, see, we get we get into the ridiculous part when I said that hey, a lot more need to be done to this uh, child because she's she's not going up. The elevator is not going to the fifteenth, sixteenth floor. You see what I'm saying? It's staying on ground level, but it should have moved up uh, expeditiously. But that did not happen. But we go on back to the article. It says, uh, last Wednesday, the Hoover Police Department held a news conference to address the questions and the findings of what was new on the um, Carla Lee's uh, incident. Uh, authorities said that Russell had told them she was taken by a red-haired man. Okay, we read that. The man then picked her up and she screamed. He then made her go over a fence. He then forced her into a car, and the next thing she remembers is being in the 18 tractor truck, 18 wheeler. She stated that the man was with the female. However, she never saw the female, only hearing her voice. She also told detectives she could hear a baby crying. However, police chief Nick Dreer said uh, something different. At some point, Russell and she said she was put in a vehicle again, but managed to escape and run through the woods to her neighborhood. Uh, Jairus <laughs> like, uh, said detectives were still investigating where Russell was and what had happened to her between the time she went missing and her return home. But he said investigators have been unable to verify most of Carly's initial statement. And they're not gonna be able to because it was the it was fictitious. All right. Oh, uh, in the days before her disappearance, authorities said she searched for information on her cell phone about Amber Alerts, a movie about a woman's abduction, and a one-way bus ticket from Birmingham to Nashville, Tennessee. Her phone also showed she traveled about six hundred yards while telling nine one one operators she was followed. Or she was following a three or four year old toddler in a diaper on the side of the highway, Dorea said. Now, what would you really give her? Don't you think she deserves psychiatric mental help? I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.